By the early 1950s, North American aviation had two highly successful fighter jets. The first was the F-86 Sabre, powered by the J-47 engine, which could go supersonic in a shallow dive. It proved its worth in the Korean War with an impressive 14 to 1 kill ratio against the Mikoyan MiG-15. The second was the F-100 Super Sabre, an improved version of the Sabre built around the larger J-57 engine. It was the first U.S. Air Force fighter capable of supersonic speed in level flight, nicknamed the Hun. The Super Sabre later distinguished itself during the Vietnam War. The next step in fighter jet development was achieving Mach 2 speed in level flight. The introduction of the larger J-75 engine made this goal theoretically possible. North American Aviation began designing such a plane under the designation F-100B. Initially, like the F-86 and F-100, the F-100B had its air intake in the nose. However, the space was needed for a large radar, so North American Aviation relocated the air intakes to under the fuselage to accommodate the radar system. The U.S. Air Force issued a requirement for a tactical fighter bomber capable of delivering a nuclear bomb. At the same time, the Mach 2 fighter bomber project received approval, but its designation was changed to F-107, and a contract was issued for three flyable YF-107 prototypes. Additionally, the U.S. Air Force approved the YF-105 project, meaning the F-107 now faced competition and was likely heading for a fly-off against its rival. North American Aviation accelerated the F-107 program. Early testing revealed that the lower position air intake interfered with dropping a nuclear bomb from the bomb bay. To solve this, the air intakes were relocated above the fuselage, a design never attempted before. The first YF-107 took to the skies on September 10, 1956, and achieved Mach 2 shortly after its maiden flight. Both the F-107 and F-105 programs faced significant issues during development. The F-107 lost one prototype during flight testing, while the F-105 program lost both of its prototypes. With more time, the problems with the F-107 could likely have been resolved, making it a successful aircraft. However, the F-105 was ultimately chosen as the new fighter bomber. Named the Thunder Chief and nicknamed Thud in Vietnam, the F-105 saw extensive combat use. Unfortunately, of the nearly 800 built, almost 400 were lost during the conflict. The YF-107 program was ultimately canceled, and the two surviving aircraft were sent to NASA. The lasting legacy of the F-107 is the air intakes located above the cockpit.